Amsterdam, a city of canals, cobblestones, and a history that is as rich as the stupa waffles you'll find in every corner cafe. This isn't just another European capital. It's a place where every street, every building, every canal has a story to tell. And those stories, well, they're not always pretty, not always polite, but they are real, raw, and utterly captivating. Amsterdam is a city that doesn't just sit back and let history happen. No, this city grabs history by the collar, gives it a good shape, and makes it part of its daily routine. If you're looking for a city that defies expectations at every turn, that dances between old world and the avant-garde with an effortless grace, then welcome. Welcome to Amsterdam. Let's start our journey in a place that, much like Amsterdam itself, refuses to be put into a box. The Stedelijk Museum. This isn't just another museum stuffed with dusty relics of the past. No, the Stedelijk is a sanctuary for the modern soul. A place where the chaos and beauty of the last century is captured in vibrant, sometimes jarring detail. Walk through its halls and you're not just looking at art, you're feeling it. Picasso's disjointed forms, Maudrain's precise lines, they're not just images, they're emotions, moments in time frozen on canvas. Warhol's pop culture icons and de Kooning's chaotic brushstrokes tell the story of a world in flux, a world that is constantly reinventing itself, much like the city outside these walls. The beauty of the Stedelijk isn't just its collection, it's in its unpredictability. One minute, you're standing in front of a minimalist sculpture. The next, you're lost in a wild, surreal world of contemporary design. It's a place that challenges, provokes, and inspires. A mirror on the city itself. And if you're lucky, you might just catch a glimpse of that Van Gogh hanging alongside a Warhol. A reminder that art, like life, doesn't have to follow any rules. From the calm of the museum, let's take a dive into the heartbeat of the Amsterdam. The Wallet, better known as the Red Light District. But don't be fooled by the neon lights and the stories you've heard. This place is so much more than its reputation. It's a living, breathing part of Amsterdam, where history and hedonism walk hand in hand. Wander through the narrow streets and you'll see the echoes of the port town that's been capturing the whims of sailors, traders and adventurers since the 14th century. Amsterdam's oldest church stands in the centre of the district, a solid witness to centuries of life, love and loss. In its shadows, the red lit windows tell another story, one of resilience and survival in a world that often turns a blind eye. Prostitution here isn't some shadowy underworld, it's a part of the fabric of the city, regulated and accepted, a profession as old as the city itself. But no, make no mistake, this isn't a free-for-all. There is a code here, a respect that runs deep. The women in these windows are mothers, daughters, sisters, human beings with lives, stories and rights. So keep your camera tucked away and your curiosity respectful. This isn't a zoo, it's a community. And as you wonder, take a moment to look beyond the obvious. The Red Light District is also home to some of the city's most fascinating museums, quirky cafes and, and yes, even a few more churches. It's a place that challenges your perceptions at every turn. A place that shows you that nothing in Amsterdam is ever quite what it seems. Just a short walk from the Wallen lies the beating heart of Amsterdam, Dam Square. This isn't just a square, it's the crossroads of history, where the city's past and present collide in a vibrant, chaotic dance. Stand here and you're standing at the very centre of Amsterdam's story. To your left, the Royal Palace looms large, a monument to the city's golden age, when Amsterdam was the centre of the world. This was a time when the city was flush with wealth, power and influence, and the palace reflects that in every grand column and towering facade. To your right, the new church stands as a reminder of the city's spiritual side. This Gothic church has seen kings and queens crowned, and while it no longer hosts regular services, it still serves as a venue for some of the city's most important events. Step inside and you'll feel the weight of history pressing down, a history that's both majestic and magic. In the centre of the square, the National Monument stands tall, a stark reminder of the horrors of war and the resilience of the human spirit. Every year on May the 4th, 
the square becomes the focal point for the country's Remembrance Day ceremonies, a time when the city pauses to remember, to reflect, to honour those who fought and died for the freedoms we so often take for granted. But Dam Square isn't just a place for reflection. It's a place that's alive, vibrant, pulsing with energy. Street performers, tourists, locals, they all converge here, creating a scene that is as chaotic as it is beautiful. This is Amsterdam at its most quintessential, where the past is never far away, but where life is always moving forward. Now let's hit the streets. Unlike other world capitals, all shiny and full of chrome, Amsterdam streets are flanked by 14th century buildings that could all be the focus of a restoration or a museum. But don't be fooled by the age of these buildings, they're anything but relics. These are living, breathing parts of the city, just as likely to house a cutting-edge design studio or a hipster cafe as they are to be the home of a family that's lived here for generations. As you walk, take a moment to soak it all in. The locals, the tourists, the retailers, the students, they all coexist in harmony, each moving at their own pace, each living their own story. And that's the beauty of Amsterdam. It's a city that invites you in, makes you part of its story and lets you go, charged, inspired and maybe a little bit more aware of the world around you. This is Amsterdam, a city of contrasts and contradictions, where the old and the new, the sacred and the profane all exist in a delicate balance. It's a place that invites you to explore, to question, to lose yourself in its labyrinth of streets and canals. But more than anything, it's a city that makes you feel alive. Because here, in this city of freedom and tolerance, anything is possible. So whether you're wandering the halls of the Stedelijk, losing yourself in the shadows of the Wallen, or standing in the midst of history in Dam Square, remember this, Amsterdam isn't just a city you visit, it's a city you experience, and once you've experienced it, you'll never forget it.